I'm Nikki Eisenhower, and I'm here with the Mindset Motivation. Now, in truth, I've been feeling a little heavy lately. Maybe you have too. There's so much in that atmosphere. So much. I'm not going to list it here. I know you know what so much means. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling stressed, if your heart feels heavy, if you feel your mind picking up some of the angst and spinning on it and spinning and spinning, then my mindset motivation for myself and for you, if you'd like to borrow it, play with it, make it your own, is I lift my own spirit. And this is important to me. When I say this out loud for myself, to myself, I lift my own spirit. This is a message of personal empowerment, of personal responsibility. It's also an actionable statement. I lift my own spirit. That's a doing. And when we're anxious, we want to be able to do. And when we can't do outwards in a way that feels productive, useful, purposeful, because the problems just seem too big or they're not our own or we don't have enough control to be as effective as we would like to, if we feel powerless, then this statement, I lift my spirit, I lift my own spirit, is about taking my power back and owning what I can own. Because that's something that I can do right now in this moment. I lift my spirit. Now, how do I do that, right? Easier said than done. Well, words are powerful. Words are spells. So just by saying it, I am casting a spell. And I always want to be mindful that I'm casting the spell that walks me along the continuum towards wellness, towards wholeness. I very much operate believing that every moment and every thought, every behavior is bringing me closer to dysfunction or closer to function and wellness. And I want to make sure that I am using my power to choose, to choose things that bring me closer to that wholeness, closer to that wellness. Doesn't mean it fixes a problem. Doesn't mean it's anything big gets solved for me or for the universe or for the struggles that are out there. It means that I'm owning my present moment. How do I do that? Well, I've got some tools for you. It's eating very cleanly. The more stressed I get, the more clean I eat. I tend to only really want to cheat at this point in my life, food and diet wise, and eat the things that I know are a little harder for my body to process, even though they might taste good to my mouth and my belly, because it makes everything else harder if my body's not processing food. So eating cleanly is really helpful and useful for me as a sensitive person. I also will take vitamin B. I'm currently taking a round of B12 shots. Sensitives, ask your healthcare professionals about that. I use rhodiola rosé. This is a tincture from Herb Farm. You can really trust their extractions and their tinctures. Um, Yeah, so just a company you can trust. Rhodiola smells a little bit like roses. It's from the rose family and it, it lifts your spirit. It lifts your mood. It gives you a little energy. Only take it in the morning because it does. It gives me energy. Other thing, peppermint oil. Now, this is an easy little thing I just have on my desk. So between clients or while I'm working, I might take this out and just smell it a little bit because peppermint oil is uplifting. And as a sensitive person, I'm a sensory being. So how do I lift my spirit? By working through my senses. What I say to myself, what I smell, what I see. So I do keep... An office that I consider beautiful and warm and friendly that makes me feel good when I come in it. I hope that you can feel that from the shot that you have. You can't see the other part that I can see. But that's an important piece. I also light my favorite incense a lot. This is called Tara, T-A-R-A, healing incense. It's my favorite, favorite scent. Because I can shift my mood and I can lift my spirit by working with my sense of smell. See this little spiky ball? I can throw this on the ground with bare feet. So many of you are working from home. You can just rub this on your feet. Why? Because it's an act of self-love. Self-care. It's something that you can do. And when we lean into something that we can do, 
we feel more empowered and more purposeful. And that in and of itself lifts our spirit. So all these little things that I'm offering you can come together to start to build some momentum on that continuum to take us closer to wellness. And if any, if in any given moment I can go from a one or a two to a five or a six, that's a big win. If I can go to a seven or eight, I'm knocking it out of the park. And the last way that I want to show you is are some chimes that I used to use to end yoga class. So at the end of yoga, I'd put people in Shavasana and to bring them out, I would say nothing but chime like this. It's hard to think of almost anything else when we're listening to those chimes move through their sound. Thank you for holding space for me today. Light and love, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the newsletter. And for those of you that have signed up for the Boundaries class, I can't wait to see you October 18th. Light and love, and I will see you people next time right here. And I'll see some of you in the Boundaries class October 18th. Bye-bye.